What's up guys, Mitch from Respect My Region, um, here with another West Coast Weed Tour review. Today we have the Smacks from uh, Doghouse. This is um, from their Oregon line. They're a multi-state operator that is in uh, both Pacific Northwest states, both uh, Oregon and, and Washington. Um, known pretty well for craft, craft cannabis in both states. Um, the Smacks, I believe, is something that they bred and cultivated in-house. Um, I don't know, you know, as usual, I don't know how well you can see on, this, um, on my iPhone camera, but, you know, this definitely has, um, you know, before I looked at the genetics uh, or, or requested the genetics, I, I smelt the Mac smell. Mac has a real distinguished kind of funk to it. Um, so I smelled, smelled that and then I learned it was Scooby Snacks crossed with Mac and that makes up Smacks uh, and that makes sense. Um, yeah, the Mac is definitely dominant in the, the bud structure and the, and the smell to it. Um, it is a great smelling bud. This is something where like if I just were to leave this nug kind of on my desk um, and have it sitting there for, you know, f and, and about a couple, three to five minutes, you'd be like geez, this whole room stinks, you know, like that, that's really potent, uh, on the nostril. And I think that's something doghouse, you know, credit to doghouse, something they've done with, uh, a lot of their, uh, genetics and, and the flower they grow is does really well on the smell and the taste and, and as well as the potency. Um, I think these guys really, you know, without knowing too much about how they grow, I think those three things are something that they really look for when they grow, because I, I feel like all their products really hit, hit well on those. Um, so getting in the review, you know, presentation, I have an 8.5, appeal at an 8.5. Um, the color, uh, I have it at 8. You know, Mac is just kind of, uh, it's something where you look at it from a distance. It could look really good or kind of just kind of bland from a distance. But when you look in, it's definitely crystally. Um, and again, the Mac bud structure is big, and I think a lot of people like it. Me, personally, it's not the most attractive, um, but I'm just being real nitpicky at that point. Um, again, smell, taste, and potency, unsurprisingly, are all coming in at a nine on this strain. It does really well in all three of those categories. Like I previously mentioned, I think you know the majority of their products really do. Um, you know, more information, I gave it a 7.5, you know, I did get test results, so I have a lot of information on this. It's just not, the, I think, I, again, I believe they breed this strain, and um, there's not much information on it when you go out and search. And so for this category, the way that this is ranked, that might be a lower thing, uh, scale, but to me that says this is rare this is something you can only get through through them this is something that there's not a lot of people out there talking about so this is a perfect strain if you want to get on put on something that no one else knows about or if you want to be able to put some other people on uh something that nobody knows about and again it, it's a killer strain so i i think again on the scoring criteria it gets low but for me that that kind of mystique to it um makes it more appealing to me as a customer um you know, more, or sorry, uh, would I recommend to someone else? Absolutely, 8.5. Experience at a nine, again, because, you know, the the smell, the flavor, and the potency are all hitting, and the breakdown, like the nugs on this, it's a really fluffy, yet crisp. I mean, it's just really, like, cured, you know, really, really well to where it's not wet and it's not dry. It's a really good medium where it would lead to a nine in experience for me for sure. Um, and then overall, um, you know, this is an 8.5 to nine weed to me, you know, the doghouse, I think everything they do is, is done real well. Um, and this one scores, I think where it really wants to for, uh, customers. And this is also something that I think is a good, like potent smoke. If you're not a heavy smoker, this one might be one that you'd want to avoid. Um, but for anyone that's heavy on the, on the flower, like this is definitely something that you'd want to, you know, fill a backwood up with or, or toss in your bowl or your bong. So yeah, the smacks from Doghouse in Oregon, um, you know, gets a thumbs up for me. And, uh, you know, I think something else just to, to note on Doghouse is although they are in two different states, they do a really, really good job again with being craft cannabis and also being very consistent in how those fla flavors come out in each market um, and how their flower looks and appeals. It really blends nice together. Um, and I, I think a lot of companies, that, that that's an issue for them. So I just want to take a second to applaud them on that. Uh, yep. And we'll see you guys next time.